and other let's welcome in the management at galaxy surface and mr shekhar md and ceo uh, is now uh, with us uh, mr shekhar thank you so much for taking our time for us uh, you know when i look at the results you know you get a sense that sales are down but at the same time when i look at the margins it's at all time high so how would you describe the quarter has the product mix changed because of which margins are looking pretty good uh see uh, we have had a, what i would call a flat growth when we talk about the revenue decline it is due to where uh, raw material prices have gone down whereas more or less uh, the the volume for this quarter quarter on quarter has more or less remained uh, flat uh, as far as the year is concerned uh, we have grown on volume by about 4.4% uh, on a consolidated uh, basis and uh, because of the raw material prices uh, Uh, being depressed you know over the year the revenue has gone down uh, vis a vis uh, last year uh, whereas our ebitda per uh, ton uh, which is how we measure ourselves uh, has been uh, in the particular range that we always uh, mention which is 15 to 17000 rupees per uh, ton and uh, we have been in that range with respect to the ebitda per ton there have been uh, minor minor uh, changes with respect to product means yes Uh, we have had more uh, growth on performance surfactants uh, last year uh, vis a vis uh, the specialty ingredients and as a matter of fact uh, the specialty ingredients had a lower growth last year compared to the previous years and more particularly i think uh, uh, we had uh, the specialty ingredients uh, not growing very well in the second half of uh, last year primarily because of uh, the early lockdown in uh, the western countries but more 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 particularly europe and uh, us yeah so overall we grew at 4.4% uh, uh, as far as the entire year is concerned uh, india was more or less uh, flat and uh, egypt did uh, well uh, egypt overall uh, grew at about 9.2% uh, aided by uh, the local egp you know egypt growth which was uh, good and uh, the rest of uh, uh, the world grew at a, uh, at a smaller pace yeah all right uh, hi mr shekhar this is mubina as well joining in so just to understand yes you had lower raw material prices but like you're mentioning volumes were flat so that uh, uh, that dip that we are seeing in revenues is uh, is it because you pass on uh, the lower raw material prices to your customers um or is it also because of the fact that like you mentioned you know the western countries went into lockdown earlier so the specialty product sales had reduced so you know the maybe the higher margin uh, products uh, were lower in your sales mix so both because uh, we also pass on uh, the lower raw material prices to our uh, customers uh, uh, and it is a sort of because this is a, a long relationship that we have with our customers and we pass on uh, suddenly uh, around raw material declines to our customers yeah then mr shekhar mr shekhar then what uh, really is aiding your margin expansion you know because it's a, it's almost at now 15 16% almost so uh, what's really oh, aiding your you said, margins you, and you know can we see this expansion continue no we always as we say we measure ourselves are we growing ahead of the market in terms of volume so the volume growth is our primary measurement parameter and then we say that the ebitda growth has to be higher than the volume growth and the pvt and the pad growth has to be higher than the ebitda growth we have always said over the last few years that our ebitda per ton uh, will be in the range of 15 to 17000 metric tons per uh, a ton uh, depending upon the mix of uh, performance uh, in you know surfactants and specialty ingredients and this year too i think we have been within that particular range of ebitda per uh, ton so since the raw material prices or what is called the top line of the revenue uh, you know came down and the ebitda per ton remains within that particular range so as a ratio you would have seen a higher uh, uh, number with respect to the margin yeah right uh, you know sir i just wanted to understand about you know uh, about your market and the unorganized players or the sme players in this market because you know every time with such issues it gets very difficult for unorganized players to come back in the same manner 
uh, is there any such thing is there any imports that are threatening your business because with the atman river theme also even that could come down yeah so uh, if you see as far as our industry is concerned the home and personal care sector over the last to so many years we haven't had any significant threat with respect to imports because as you know uh, this is a industry where uh, it addresses the needs of you know safety and uh, of consumers like you and me who are very bothered about uh, uh, you know uh, personal safety personal wellness personal uh, protection and that's where the consumers more or less uh, more uh, depend upon brands and the promise of those brands rather than any other any anything else so in 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 such a case it is extremely important that our customers rely on uh, suppliers like us who are able to promise consistent quality and uh, systems over a long long period of time so uh, that is where uh, uh, the indian industry you know almost uh, uh, entirely supplies the requirement of the you know customers of women personal care industry in this uh, country so we haven't had any significant uh, uh, threat from imports as far as our uh, home and personal care industry is uh, concerned and uh, we as a galaxy uh, we have mentioned that uh, we have been uh, having a very very long relationship with our customers we acquired market leadership in this country in 1986 and since then we have uh, nurtured maintained and enhanced our market position in this country with all our customers and this country has grown as you know more than uh, uh, 200 times in the last 40 years so uh, galaxy of course celebrated his birthday and that's why i'm mentioning that over the last 40 years this con- you know country has grown 400 you know 200 times and we have uh, uh, been a part of this growing industry over the last 40 years and uh, when we talk about uh, atmanirbhar yes because uh, almost uh, uh, whatever is required when you when we talk about uh, the ingredients with respect to cleaning uh, foaming uh, uh, with respect to hand hygiene dish wash uh, hygiene or clothes washing almost uh, the entire ingredients required for these industries are manufactured uh, by uh, 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 our industries uh, i mean of which we are a part of Uh, entirely in this in this country so and this has been so for now quite some time uh, and over many many years i think uh, uh, this country has been self reliant as far as this these ingredients are concerned yeah right uh, right sir thank you so much sir for taking out time for us always good to get perspective uh, from you uh you know uh, as we were speaking to galaxy surface and numbers of auto companies are coming in and i guess aishar has come out with the uh, numbers so we'll just uh, focus on that and just tell you what the numbers are the cv sale numbers are 1358 of course the re that's uh, the royal enfield numbers are still pending so that's something we are waiting for taking a break coming back soon nifty up 110 points